Uh, this is day two in the 60-hour uh, editing marathon. I'm trying to fit in uh, four consecutive 15-hour days, basically. Um, the editing was source. Because we've got the Sundance deadline, family's away for four days in Alaska, um, and I thought I'd take advantage of it. So I thought I'd uh, show you guys around the edit bay a little bit. As you see in front of me, here's uh, I've got the outline of the movie. Uh, sitting right there in front of my face, something I refer to throughout the editing process just to make sure that I'm kept on track. My giant monitor where I do the bulk of the editing, in fact that's where all the editing is done. Here's my program monitor where I actually see what I'm doing. This, this thing here is very, very distracting, in fact uh, I should probably close that, why don't I do that right now. Those that know me well know that uh, I don't go anywhere without my handy thermos. This thing keeps uh, water cold for basically the entire day. Um, this was an absolute lifesaver in Haiti. Down here, underneath the desk, is uh, basically the, all of the source. That's uh, you're looking at eight terabytes of uh, hard drive space there. But right, right now, what you're looking at is uh, the actual point in the timeline that I'm working on. This is, uh, in fact, the transition from uh, Joe Swee's introduction in the film to Chris Madon's introduction and it's given me, uh, given me some problems. It's, uh, it's a tricky one. Um, I'm trying to figure out the best way to transition from the, uh, from the two characters and how to introduce them in the most compelling manner. Here you have it. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek of what I'm working on. Of course this might completely completely changed by the time we finish the film, but here we go. So here's uh, here's a scene of Joe Swee having just, or rather going into the uh, liquor store to pick up some lottery tickets. Yes, I, I would win. Sometimes you hear all people want something, but because they pay one two dollars, so it's one kind of okay. If that happened, then the people did, I would be happy, very happy. Even more happy than me. Josué tire les moulins et ça les onze et demi et ça dit le bon onze et demi en dix minutes. Nous pouvons connaître là ils disent son volant machine moi. So there you have it. A um, little sneak peek of what I'm working on tonight. Again, don't know if that's going to keep or not, um, time will tell. It's almost midnight, so I'm, I'm a little loopy right now, to be honest, and a little out of touch with what the hell I'm doing. But, um, you know, you just kind of have to keep editing. Um, nothing will get done unless you just kind of keep cracking at it, you know? And so even when I'm tired and out of touch and I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing, I'm sort of, even though I'm sort of operating on sort of instinct at that point, have to trust that uh, any progress is good progress, you know? Anyhow, take it easy. Bye.